And I want to say that the only people who will be concerned negatively about a movement that says all eyes on the judiciary are people who have criminal intents, who have um, extrajudicial intents, who want to do something illegal. It is unfortunate that uh, some members of COPDEM and ordinary Nigerians who feel that it is right to call the attention of the judiciary to the hopes. The All Eyes on the Judiciary movement is in line with the popular maxim that the judiciary is the last hope of the common man. Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. And welcome to this YouTube channel. If you're doing a first time with you see this channel, make an offer to hit on the subscribe button. If you don't subscribe before, thank you and God bless you. And if you're doing a first time with you see this Facebook page, I pack everyone over one. Make an offer to like and follow this page for more videos up to come away. way. Remember, don't come back in here. I tell them I say how things they go out of the play. I dare to bring a common adult step and say how the things they unfold. Without wasting much of your time. Guys, I go on quickly, play video for an amount and see what they up. I'm breaking news. When I know say tribunal, what is going for tribunal? Everybody they talk, say Peter will be winning 12 states. Guys, when I know say after the judgment, enough of investigation see they go on. Finally, finally, the RF Potter don't finally conclude and say me, Peter will be won. 16 states out of 36 he won 16 states not be 12 states where they talk say peter will be win peter will be won 16 states guys i go read that for the mona see at the same time play on our video more than a year wait this up for nigeria but i'm not saying man i start all eyes on the judiciary that thing eh, they beat all this judiciary not be small guys before we go into this news make a quick your speech for now before them please if you don't say you they follow me for Facebook, and you don't see my video doing this time before, now Facebook and the other make say, please follow me for YouTube. Subscribe to this my YouTube channel, Africa Jama First Lady TV. In case I post video, you'll be the first place to see it. I mean, you're not afraid to please follow me for Instagram. Let's eat 10,000 followers on Instagram. As you do so, God bless you. Guys, make a quick read for now. No one see what is up here before I come play video for now. Please share this video for me breaking hp peter b of the labor party wants the state state not 12 state as claimed by anek reviewed rf results showed now the year that 12 state did they say peter b will not be 12 states peter b won 16 states where i neck the talks in our 12 states because they do they do iki iki give out to bola met if chinibu it don't show now See man, now uh, 16 states, Peter B will not be 12. That is to tell you who is the president of Nigeria. Abola Ahmed, if Tinibu County beat Peter B, they need to let us know. Abola Ahmed, if Tinibu County beat Peter B, Atiku, they there. I take beat Atiku. Guys, I better make a quick play this video for now. I see what is up here. Please uh, do me a favor, share this video. I tell you, I say, artists, they're gonna know now. September 21st, now they won't call the winning of this uh, tribunal case. So, more than wait, and they bring a come the way the matter they go. As the matter they now, Nigeria now is hot thing, everywhere they hot. Watch this video, they will come back. And I want to say that the only people who will be concerned negatively about a movement that says all eyes on the judiciary are people who have criminal intents, who have um, extrajudicial intents, who want to do something illegal. It is unfortunate that uh, some members of COPDEM and ordinary Nigerians who feel that it is right to call the attention of the judiciary to the hopes the all eyes on the judiciary movement is in line with the popular maxim that the judiciary is the last hope of the common man if any system tries to stop the people from holding judicial the judiciary to account then that system is self-destructive that system does not want to stand because if you do not believe in the judiciary then you are calling for people to uh, take to self-help measures if the people cannot come out to say the only people or the only institution we rely on in this matter is the judiciary then you are asking them 
to take up or to take actions that are illegal. And these actions that are illegal may be violent, it may it won't tell good on our society. So the all eyes on the judiciary movement is actually a pro-Nigerian movement, a pro-national movement. It is a movement championed by the best patriots, those who are most patriotic and those who believe most in Nigeria's unity, those who believe most in Nigeria's democracy. We are saying that Nigeria, the Nigerian judiciary, should not rely on technicalities to give its judgment, but they should rely on evidence, on law, on constitutionality. Anything outside that we do not want a situation where someone who came forth comes first on the basis of technicality. We do not want a situation where we are told that, well, what you argued is correct, but uh, because you did not file on time or because there is a misspelling on your, uh, uh, on your summons or on your argument, we are going to strike it out. We want these matters in the judiciary or at different courts across the land, at the presidential election petition court and at the national assembly and state assembly petition court and governorship election petition court. We want these cases to be heard on their merits. We want these cases to be heard on the basis of the evidence presented. Are those individuals who are currently holding or occupying governorship, presidential, national assembly, state assembly positions qualified in the first place to sit to contest that election? It is important that these things are ruled for posterity purposes. Because if we get to a situation where Nigerians do no longer have hope, do not have faith in the judiciary, we may be, we run a risk of destroying this nation. And Cobden is leading a movement to say that we want Nigeria to remain, that we want our democracy to be sustained, that we want our democracy to be strengthened, that we do not want anything to happen to this democracy. That is why we are saying elections have held with all the presumed irregularities. We are now looking at the judiciary to do justice. In fact, we expect the Chief Justice of Nigeria to be at the helm of this movement because we are saying what he should say. We are helping him advance his argument that the, the, the judiciary is the last hope of the common man. Any system, any democracy, any nation that does not believe in democracy, that does not work to preserve the, uh, 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 the independence of the judiciary, the faith of the people in the judiciary is a system prone to death. That system is sure to collapse. People who are currently benefiting or who have long benefited from the decadence in the Nigerian system believe that it will have to continue that way. But I have to remind us that Nigerians have taken enough. Nigerians are angry. Nigerians are frustrated. And in COP them, we are trying to ensure that Nigerians, the anger of Nigerians do not overboil into something that might be considered illegal and destructive. We are trying to save Nigeria from going down. We are trying to save our democracy by saying that the judiciary, which is the last hope of the common man, must do its work without interference. The legal practitioner here has uh, referred to a case where a member of a petition tribunal came out to say that attempts were made that attempts were made to try to buy over some members of the tribunal to give judgments that are not right. And up to date, we haven't heard that security agents invited those who were accused directly of trying to bribe uh, members of the judiciary. And I want to call on the security agencies to stop harassing people who protest legally. If you harass people who protest legally, then you are calling, you are encouraging people to take actions that are illegal. You are calling on people, you are encouraging people to take actions that will be detrimental 
to our national cohesion. If you continue to harass people, if you continue to try to stop people from embarking on rallies, from embarking on protests, from embarking on demonstrations, you are telling them to go back home and take up arms. And that would be very unfortunate. We are calling on the security agencies to devote time in arresting those who are causing trouble in this nation. We need their efficiency, we need their gallantry, we need their competence. In areas of this country where citizens pay taxes to non-state actors. We need their proficiency, we need their competence, we need their gallantry in areas of this country where civilians sit at home on Mondays, sometimes for two weeks, on a stretch without going to work because terrorists have ordered it. We need their competence, we need their gallantry, we need their patriotism in areas in this country we are kidnapping, we are terrorism have become the order of the day. They should stop harassing innocent citizens. They should stop harassing people who call for orderliness. They should stop harassing people who are expressing faith in the judiciary. They should stop harassing people who are calling for the right thing to be done. We are rather trying to secure a better future for them and for their children. They are not servants of the political class. They are servants of the Nigerian people. The security agents are Nigerians. They buy food in the same market that we do. They have dependents like we do. They understand how hard things are like we all do. They also understand that the individuals who are currently occupying political offices across the country, a number of them are not the choices of the people. They will also benefit if the judiciary do the right thing. So we are calling on the security agencies that their major task, their work, their loyalty is, the, is to the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and to the Nigerian people. Not to the president, not to the governor, not to the House of Assembly member, not to the House of Rep Representatives member, but to the ordinary Nigerian who pays tax, whose taxes are used to pay them salaries. They owe them that loyalty. Their allegiance is to them. And they may say that they are obeying orders from the executive, from the people in government. I know that uh, the law does not say you must be, obey orders. There is something they say, lawful orders. You should, they should only obey lawful orders. When you are told to go and beat up an innocent citizen for participating in a rally, you have a right to say no. Because your first power comes from the constitution. And your second power comes from the people. I want to check out. When I hear everything is our brother talk. See, now what will they talk for this place? The military, the DSS, all these people, they're not supposed to be listening to all this government where you say people they do hashtag all eyes on the judiciary rally. The Congo send they made the Congo they attack on them. They're supposed to put out and say no. This forget rights. Because we they wait for the judge now, may they tell us what did they stop. Did they do any here? Then what do I expect? We need to come outside to protest. I wanna hear. We wanna stop protest. Okay, now maybe people not come. Maybe they not come out. Go exercise their rights for outside. Then what do they want for the country? You now they want chaos. Now the judge not bring out anything. Then the people they come and they talk say hashtag all eyes on the judiciary. When they be they enter us. Then which of the protests now want again? When I want me they come destroy the country. I believe in that one on the fan. So when I not want that one, they allow peace to reign. Allow them to do their peaceful work. Hashtag all eyes on the judiciary. I don't see any offense here. This is not supposed to be problem to the uh, government or the judiciary. Them it's not supposed to be problem, but they are all scared. They are scared because they know. See, yes, Nigerians for once has risen up to grab what belongs to them for once, because our politicians, our government don't use us all this way. But this time. We don't let them know, say, man, we don't be mumu. With the respect, no, no, me say we're stupid. But this time, we're going to get it back by force. That's why you see, say, everybody now, they sing, hashtag, all eyes on the judiciary. Judiciary, we don't need to do the right thing. You know? When I say, I say, the country now is messed up. 
So we don't need all this for we say yes, we don't vote for. We don't need them for office. Nigerians know who they vote for. Nigerians know who they cast their vote give. So not be now. With the cry say, Malu Yakubu do now. We don't want to do the worst. No, we don't go try him now. So that's what we need to fix this whole issue. Give us our mandate. Then, peace go to the country. Simple. That's how we end this video here. Please help me to share this video. As you do so, God bless you. I'm making no fit to please follow me for YouTube. Subscribe to this my YouTube channel, Africa Jama First Lady TV. In case I post video, you'll be the first place to see it. I'm making no fit to follow me for Instagram. Let's eat 10,000 followers on Instagram. As you do so, God bless you. See you guys in my next video. Stay safe, guys, and bye bye.